I never thought of alligators as being cute before, but that little one was kind of cute. All right, let's talk about it. This was sunrise this morning in Boynton Beach and a nice start to your Sunday. Now we did see a rounds of showers and storms throughout the afternoon. Here's how the afternoon played out in Palm City, mostly cloudy skies, but now we're seeing some sunshine as we're headed into the evening. Want to show you this weather spotter uh, picture taken by Scott Yolden from Vero Beach. Sunrise this morning looking pretty cool out there. And here's another one from Vero Beach. So even when we have stormy weekends, we have times where it does look uh, pretty outside and uh, living in a tropical paradise. Uh, we get used to rain this time of year, but uh, only about another month to six weeks before rainy season will start to fade away. An active day across the region. We do have a frontal boundary to our north, but lots of tropical moisture overhead. So it didn't take much for that east coast sea breeze and west coast sea breeze to get uh, kicking into gear. Now we're still seeing some lightning around Wellington and the Polo Club, but uh, these storms are diminishing. So the lightning uh, pretty much a weakening down for now and also seeing some strong storms offshore of Sebastian Inlet. Uh, so that would be rough for any boaters, but probably most folks done with boating for the weekend at this point. Temperatures right now uh, a little bit cooler where we see some rain cooled air 81 Boynton Beach 81 West Palm 78 degrees in Wellington, but still very warm in Fort Pierce. 85 degrees there in Vero Beach. It was a hot one today. 93 degrees. The average 88. So that's five degrees above average in Vero Beach. Now in West Palm Beach, 91 degrees was the high and the low this morning was 77 degrees. All right. In the tropics, we are losing uh, numbers on the map and that's a good thing. Uh, post tropical Lee and post tropical Margot. I'll show you them in a moment, but they are uh, have their last issue uh, advisory has been issued for those folks. Now Nigel, Tropical Storm Nigel strengthening and a wave about to move off the coast of Africa. All right, Tropical Storm Nigel moving to the northwest at 13 with max winds of 65 miles per hour, meaning it could form into a hurricane by the next advisory tonight at 11 o'clock. So we'll let you know because it is showing uh, signs of strengthening. So uh, the official forecast track has it strengthening all the way up to a major hurricane uh, by Tuesday into Wednesday where it's about due east of Bermuda and then it heads off to the north where eventually it will weaken as it moves off to the north and northeast. So the only effects we'll see from Nigel once again here in Florida will be high surf and uh, some dangerous marine conditions later on this week. And you can see the spaghetti models want to take Nigel all the way towards uh, places like Iceland. So uh, we'll continue to uh, keep an eye on the tropics, but right now we're looking pretty good. Lee again racing off to the northeast. Margot is just kind of sitting and spinning, but eventually will uh, dissipate. And here's the wave that in this area has a 40% chance of developing into our next depression or storm. There's that frontal boundary, but all that dry air stays to our north. So we stay relatively unsettled this work week, uh, mainly dry for the remainder of the night. But then tomorrow we're going to do it all again with another round of showers and storms. Same timing, generally about three to seven o'clock. Here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures staying near 90 degrees and and uh, slightly fewer rain showers as we head into a Wednesday and Friday.